Let me know if you want more baking videos. Hey. <laughs>
she doesn't like walking over the bridge that we're about to pass because the water flows under it. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? It's me, the man in the middle ledge. Oh. Yeah. You were like this. Swap. <laughs> So we are back from our walk now. Um, so I'm gonna do a little bit of baking. So welcome to my kitchen. I thought that I would make just something easy and simple. So I'm gonna make peppermint patty, peppermint patties. I don't know what else you call them, are they biscuit? I don't know. Um, but I saw a girl that I follow on TikTok called Hallie Burns, who I love. She's the cutest thing ever. Um, her TikTok. TikTok name is Belly Hearns um, and she's vegan but she does all these like cute little baking things and she made peppermint patties I was like oh that looks so easy so we're gonna make some so we're gonna get a bowl I'm just gonna hop right in um, we want a cup of powdered sugar also I'm not actually good at baking like in the slightest That was pretty perfect. I think I just put all of it in. So we're gonna put a cup of powdered sugar in the bowl. Then I'm gonna melt um, a tablespoon of butter. I'm just gonna go microwave that. Uh, but while I'm waiting for the butter to melt, I'm going to put in a teaspoon I went to two different stores to find peppermint extract okay so I've got the tablespoon of melted butter I'm just gonna let that cool a little bit for a second um, we need a tablespoon no sorry a teaspoon of peppermint extract I ran to two different stores right before this to try and get some one teaspoon yeah peppermint extract I'm also going to do a bit of vanilla extract. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of that. Look at me doing baking videos. Okay. Half a teaspoon of that. Pour the butter in. Um, and then I'm just going to do... One to two teaspoons of milk. I think I'm gonna do two. This is just like regular dairy milk. Okay, I'm just gonna now mix that all together. Oh, it smells good. This doesn't seem like it's gonna make a lot. Okay, we wanna get it looking like that, like a paste. And then I'm gonna get some parchment paper and put it here. We're gonna roll and pin it. I think I need to put something on it. I feel like this is gonna stick. Yep. Yep, yep. 
we were bound to have a disaster at some point. Okay, we're gonna put some over the top to stop it from sticking. There we go. Question is, is this gonna stick? Kind of. Now I'm going to get a glass and make circles of them. This is not working at all in the slightest. I feel like I need to start that again. How can I do it with powdered sugar? I've tried putting powdered sugar on the glass. It worked! <laughs> I feel like I need this with like powdered sugar on it. Sticking. Okay, my memory card died, so I have to put one. I'm gonna roll this out again, honestly, because it's a disaster. Okay, we've semi salvaged that. Um, I'm now, this, I'm probably just gonna leave them on this actually, because it's too hard to move them. I'm gonna put a little more powdered sugar on them so that it's a little less sticky. This was supposed to be easy. The recipe itself is easy. with that one. Alright, we're gonna try and get a couple more out and then we're just gonna put them in the freezer. It honestly does taste good though. Alright, I'm gonna put that in the freezer for like 20 minutes, I think. Okay, I've decided that actually while those are in the freezer, I'm gonna make another batch since it only made like six. Um, so we've got the cup of powdered sugar, teaspoon, extract, half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, I'm putting in the tablespoon of butter and then the milk. I might try one teaspoon of milk this time and see how that goes and then if I need to add more I can add more because I felt like it was almost a bit too moist. Ew. <laughs> Okay, so again, you turn it into a paste, pretty much. Let's pray this round's better because the other round was a disaster. Just doesn't make much, that's the only thing. Oh, much better. Okay, the one teaspoon of milk worked better than the two teaspoons of milk. The two teaspoons of milk made it too wet and sticky. I don't know if I'm going to need this. Way better. Okay, okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, now I'm excited. Now that it's working, I'm excited. So much better. <gasps> See? I couldn't do that with the last batch. I'm glad I redeemed myself. <laughs> These ones look so much better. Yay! Okay, gonna get a plate and put them in the freezer. Oh. Okay, 
honestly these are already like hard these ones so I'm gonna start on melting the chocolate so I'm just gonna stick this in a bowl and you can either do it over the stove um, over water I'm just gonna stick it in the microwave today um, just because this was supposed to be quick so I'm just gonna break some of this up and melt it that'll be enough but we'll start with it so these are like pretty hard now so I'm gonna coat them in chocolate and then you put them back in the freezer um, to set the chocolate and then normally you would sprinkle crushed um, candy flames on candy flames candy canes on top but I don't have any so I think I'm just gonna do like coconut flakes on top or something you could do like crushed nuts um, but yeah, I don't have any candy canes, but that's what you would normally put on top of peppermint patties. <laughs> okay. I don't feel like that's going to be enough, but we can start with it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab the peppermint patty pot. I'm going to dunk it in the melted chocolate and then I'm just going to coat it in the chocolate. Okay. And well, again. Okay. <laughs> So batch one has been a complete fail so far. Basically I was an idiot. They weren't frozen enough and I put it into boiling hot melted chocolate and melted the peppermint patty. <laughs> oh, it's just been one of those days. But, so that will be an interesting one. So I put them back in the freezer for a little bit longer. And then we'll try it A when the chocolate's a bit cooler. <laughs> and the peppermint patties <laughs> are a bit more frozen. Okay, we're back. I'm gonna get them out of the freezer now and hopefully this will work. Whoa. Second batch. Looks so pretty. First batch. Like so. They're really not the prettiest, I've got to say. I definitely need more chocolate now. <sighs> this is not going to plant in the slightest bit. This was supposed to take me like half an hour. It's been over an hour. Okay, let's try this again. I've melted more chocolate. I put it in the fridge for like a couple minutes so that it's not gonna melt the peppermint patties. Let's do this. give up. I do. That's... <laughs> Basically the chocolate's too warm and because I'd had them out while I melted more chocolate they'd gone soft and so I put it in the chocolate and it melted. So I put them back in the freezer while we wait for the chocolate to cool down more. This is why I don't bake. <laughs> and this doesn't even involve baking. 
Let me know if you want more baking videos. Hey. <laughs> Please work, I'm over it. This was supposed to be easy. Looking good, looking good. Hey, and then we sprinkle with coconut. Okay, okay. If you're watching this, don't judge me, please. I'm not the baker in this friendship. You are. <laughs> you're probably judging me so hard right now going, you idiot. You're an idiot. I am. I'll, I'll take it. For this, I'll take it. Well, I still got a whole batch to do, but I don't know if I have any more chocolate. They look kind of cute, kind of. All right, guys, I just went ahead and coated the last batch in the chocolate. Thankfully, I had more because I ended up only just having enough again. Um, I have started plating them on a plate. This is what they're looking like. I don't know if you can see that. They're not pretty in the slightest bit. Hopefully they taste good. I just gotta figure out how to get this batch down here in the freezer but that's it I will <laughs> that is the baking video part done um, I will check in with you when I try one probably later tonight um, but don't do at all what I did don't take this as a tutorial take this as a what not to do when making peppermint patties because this should have been really simple but because it's me it wasn't cool Alright guys, I've just done a little bit of editing, um, we just ordered some pizza for dinner and now we're going to sit down and eat that and watch some of The Crown. Why is there a hole? Is... Oh, I thought that was another hole. It is now currently midnight and I realized I haven't tried a peppermint patty. So we're gonna do that now. Okay, they're not the prettiest things you've ever seen. The double layers. I'm gonna just try this small one. It's not gonna be good. Mm -hmm. You're the worst! Um, I don't love peppermint and chocolate together, honestly, but it's actually not bad. Are you going to try one? No. Why? Because it's what peppermint? Yeah, my brother and I aren't the biggest fan of peppermint. I don't love peppermint and chocolate together. I don't know. It just reminds me of cleaning my teeth. Um, that's not too bad. They don't look... Actually, that looks quite good. Oh, shit. Can you come and try one? It's a bit hard, but... <laughs> oh, yummy. Good? Mm -hmm. I don't even like peppermint. The baking part of them wasn't great, but they taste good. 
All right, guys, it is 1 a.m. I think I am ready for bed. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog, miss. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it was kind of a hot mess with my baking, but I hope you had a laugh because I did. It ended up being quite good. So let me know if you make them. Yeah, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will hopefully see you in another vlog tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it is past my bedtime, so I'm going to head off now. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up for me and to hit that big red subscribe button and to turn your post notifications on. As always, guys, thank you so much, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.